weather forecast then, there are two Met Office warnings for you today. A yellow warning currently in place for heavy rain until 6am tomorrow. It becomes a more serious amber warning from midday today until tomorrow morning. So rain all day, heavy at times. It's pretty awful out there at the minute. Lots of surface water and heavy rain. We'll be brighter tomorrow. October storms are normal, but not this one. A high pressure area over Scandinavia is blocking Babette, parking the storm over northern England and eastern Scotland. Hey up everybody, isn't this weather amazing? I had the worst night ever because of like rain battering van and wind so as you saw I was up at the crack of dawn this morning and uh, yeah I stayed near Sheffield because I want to come here and, and do a vlog but I'll try not to make it as miserable as my Doncaster one. Look, I'm smiling, I'm gonna be happy. I remember as a kid, on very rare occasions for a special treat we'd we'd come to Sheffield to the big city and uh, we used to go to a place called Redgate's Redgate's Toys I think it was that sort of blue building I might be wrong I'm sure that were Redgate's if you can uh, let me know in the comments just to confirm God, it's like, it's this storm, isn't it? I must be bloody mental, me, doing this. I could just... I could be in a pub or something, but it's a bit early yet, it's only like 9am. Oh, get under the shelter here. I need to get indoors because rain's just blowing completely into my brolly. This brolly is completely useless.
Help me. Yeah, there. Yeah, right. I'm put you on YouTube. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go, pal. Well yeah. done, mate. Take care. Yeah. All right. This we oh shit! This weather. Oh fuck! Crying out loud. This weather it teaches you the difference between waterproof and water resistant. Because I may as well just take my brolly down. I'm absolutely drenched. It's all right for you lot in your lovely dry house watching this, but I'm heading back to the van. I can't, I can't do it anymore. Look at that, that's what I mean about the difference between water resistance and water resistant and waterproof. My legs are absolutely ringing. Fortunately, when you live in your van, you've got your clothes in back. So I'm gonna get changed in a bit. I just need to, God, I just wanna sit here for a bit and uh, put heater on. Oh god, what a nightmare. Not fun is it this? Oh, oh that's a lot better, nice and dry now. So, we're not going to be miserable, we're going to continue with this vlog. The reason I'm in Sheffield is because I'm babysitting for my nephew uh, later on this afternoon, so, well, early evening. I've got to head to my sister's in a bit. Uh, and we're going to be building Lego and scale electric in and doing all that sort of stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. But then, you, as you know, I talk about chip shops and I love my fish and chips. And repeatedly, a lot of people have told me about a chip shop in Sheffield called Frymaster. And a friend of mine says, without doubt, it's the best fish and chips. Now, I went to that one in Doncaster last week, and I, they were the best ones I've had. So I thought, well, I'm in Sheffield, I can try Frymaster. The thing with Frymaster is, it's only like open for a couple of hours in the afternoon. And it's in Attercliffe, it's not dead easy to get to. Because uh, there's no parking or anything like that. But I thought, well, it's great. I can go and have some fish and chips from Frymaster. I'll get the same as what I got had from uh, the Oakley Friary and we'll compare them. So I'm looking forward to that, although I'm not that hungry at the moment, but uh, you know, I've, I can always find space for fish and chips. Oh, look at this here, flooding. in their wake. I've heard so much about the fish and chips from this place, I am looking forward to them. drive past first to make sure it's open because I'm not getting wet for now. The only problem with this place is you can't park outside. It's there on 
the right. That is it, and it is open. Oh, yes, sir. -y. Exciting times. It's up there, up right, look. Good stay to be. Here we go, here we go. Look at that! Bloody hell, that's just a crossing road. Oh, I need to get out, set my coat up. Oh. Absolutely slashing it down. Oh, need to get eating on. Well, that was pandemonium in there. It was so busy, there were eight girls working behind the counter and at one point there was 20, I counted, that's how sad I am, I counted 26 people in queue. Have I got any tissues to wipe my glasses? So, obviously very popular and there were people doing really big orders, you know, because there's a lot of businesses around here steaming up uh, they were doing big orders woman in front of me 150 something quid but I got let me show you this I got haddock I got same as what I had the other day haddock chips and mushy peas so that is it's a big old haddock and a can of dandelion and burdock. Do you know how much it come to? £8.95 for all that. So they already win on price. Uh, I've got to somehow, I've got my peas in here. I'm so, everything's soggy. I want to dish this up and try and sort of film it somehow. Hey, hey, hey. I've had to just plump the peas in lid because there were no room. Because that fish is really big. Good price. But let's let's test them. So let's try a chip. We was going the same order. Mm. Yeah, they're a bit. Show it, chap. You see that? Chips are a bit soggy, to be honest. Not with the rain either. A bit greasy. Peas. Peas. They're okay. Now the fish, it's a, the right size is. Here's the fish, I just broke the end off. Let's try a bit of batter. Crunchy batter. Fish lot. See that? They've left the skin on the fish. They didn't give me the option, which is not brilliant. I don't mind skin on. It's too much vinegar on it. Should have put it on myself, really. And the chips, they're just sort of disintegrating.
I don't know what to say. It's a difficult one, this. I had, I had really high expectations. And it's so obviously very popular. Just because of the queues. And all the people that are attached to And I realise that sometimes you, you can get them on a better day than others. It's all subjective, isn't it? How do I score it? I mean, it's it looks a bit rank, does fish, because it's all oh, skin. Skin's a bit, yeah. So there you go. I've left quite a bit. Can you see mess with fish and skin? It's a bit and veins and everything. Yeah, I'm disappointed about that. And it's not often that I leave fish and chips. But everybody goes on about it. Everybody raves about it. And there were a massive queue. I've never seen the chip shop as busy. I, I had just right high expectations. Dandelion and burdock's all right. Oh, pardon me. Final score. I'm afraid they're going to be a five. Not brilliant. Not, not good. I mean, I know I've not done that many fish and chip shops, but compared to Oakley and compared to the one at Bridlington on the beach, they're far better. The one in Great Yarmouth, they were really nice as well. Yeah, five. Five for them. Sorry about that to the people that recommended. I might have just got them on a bad day, who knows, but that's my opinion. Try them out for yourself. Great value. I'd possibly try them again. I'd probably give them another go. Uh, but I won't go out of my way. Right. So it's the day after and I stopped uh, vlogging yesterday because I got a phone call just after I'd had them fish and chips. I got a phone call off Helen. She was stuck in traffic and I put radio on and it was quite bad with the flooding. There were lots of roads closed. There were people that were stranded. They've had to rescue people. So many homes were underwater. So when you think about those poor people that have had their houses ruined, uh, I saw something about a young girl that had just set up a business and she'd put her heart and soul into it and setting it up, it was a dream and that's been completely ruined. And it's it's heartbreaking to see just people, you know, having their the houses ruined, having the property ruined and it, it's awful, some of the footage. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I stopped vlogging because uh, I weren't in mood really. And uh, I just hope everybody watching this, if uh, you're, you know, if you're in this area, if you, I hope you're all okay, and it's not causing you any damage or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll get some dry weather for a bit, and uh, and then I'll see you in the next vlog. All right, see that.